Hi guys, I am Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I tiled my countertop. Now this is the first time I've ever tiled before, but all in all I think it came out really nice. So if you're a beginner like me and this is the first time you're ever tiling in your life, maybe some of the tips that I learned while I was doing this may help you as well. So if you guys would like to see how I tile this countertop, then come with me and let's get started. To get started, I'm using this ply board that I picked up from the hardware store. And in order to get it into my car, I had them cut it into three, and I'm using one of those pieces to do the countertop. So the first thing I'm doing is marking from corner to corner on both sides to get the middle. To cut the tiles, I picked up this tile cutter from the hardware store. And for someone that was so scared to cut tiles, this worked out really well. So if I see one like this online, I would link it in the description. I'm dry fitting where I place the tiles because I want to make a pattern and I want to also use crush mirror glass. And to make absolutely sure I have the right spacing between the tiles, I'm using these 1 8 inch spacers. And to get the space in where I'm going to use the crush mirror glass, I took two tile and placed the spacers to see how much space I'll have in between. And the space remain between the tile, I'm going to use that same measurement all around the center. And that's where I'm going to place the crush mirror glass. To set the tile, I use this premium mortar for tile and stone. It says up to 20 inches. I'm not sure if the 20 inches is for the height of what you could use in it, but this is what I used. You'll also need a chowel and I'm using the shorter side of the teats. Then I set the tiles in the middle and all around the sides, making sure to keep the area where I'm going to place the crush mirror glass clean from any mortar. We'll let this dry overnight and then we'll come back. And for this project, I'll be using this premium rapid setting grout. This grout needs to be mixed with water and this is the consistency that I used. Then I grouted a small section at a time and clean up as I went along. I continued this all the way around and left it to dry overnight. The next morning after it's dry, I'm using this crush mirror glass that I crushed myself and this crush mirror glass that I picked up from on Amazon and the link for all of these would be in the description down below. I mixed them together and this is the result I got mixing the both of them together. And to hold the crush mirror glass, I used the same mortar I used to set the tile. I'll continue doing this off camera, let it dry overnight and come back to pour the resin. 
And this is the resin I use to make the pour. I love this resin because it's a one-to-one -one ratio and it sets up nice and hard. If you would like to see how I mix the resin, you could check out my moles video. I will leave that linked after this video for those of you guys that didn't see that video. But it's a basic and easy resin. All you have to do is mix the same equal parts and mix it thoroughly until it's clear. We let this set up overnight to dry and then we'll come back. For the edge of the counter, I'm using this silver trim. I really, really love this trim. It almost looks like crushed mirror glass. And I'm going to use the glue gun to put it together. There's a sticky part behind it that activates with heat. But to make sure that it's stuck down to the edge of the counter, I'm going to be using the glue gun. And then I'll go back behind it. And any place that is missing glue, I'll be using my E6000. So I'll do this all the way around and then I'll come back. There were some places on the table or some places where the grout wasn't as even and some of the resin spilled over onto these areas. So all I did was to apply some heat and scrape off the resin that spilled over to the tile and onto the mortar. Once I got the resin cleaned up, this is the final result of the countertop. Now, if you're asking if this is something that I would do again, the answer is absolutely. I'm so glad that I found the confidence to do something that was out of my comfort zone. So maybe this is not in your comfort zone either, but maybe after seeing this video, you might try it. Leave that in the comment section down below. Or if it's something that you still wouldn't try, I'd also like to know about that in the comment section. So bye for now, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.